Hello and welcome back to our classroom. Today we are looking at a new topic. We're starting measurement and in this lesson we are going to be looking at how to calculate distance and in particular perimeter when it comes to measurement in CXE. Our objectives are to calculate the perimeter of a plane shape, to calculate the length of an arc, and in general just to solve the simple problems involving circumference and what i'm going to be doing is to be taking some questions from cxe to show you how um perimeter is applied to especially cxe questions so first do you want to talk about what exactly is perimeter perimeter simply defined is the distance around a plane shape so for example if we're discussing perimeter and we want to know what the perimeter of a we might talk about perimeter fencing, for example, which is the fencing that you might want to put around a property. And in this question here, we have a floor plan and the perimeter of the floor is the distance all around it. Starting with this simple question, because there have been instances where CXE has put these questions on papers and students, because of the seemingly easy nature of the question, have um, gone ahead and made mistakes on them. So in finding the perimeter of this um, diagram, the floor plan, we would want to add all the distances that um, make up the, 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 the shape. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. And so the idea is to add all six sides to get our perimeter. So we'd start by adding our 11 here plus our three here and there is a mystery side here that we don't know and there is a four and then there is a five and then there is another side here that we do not have a measurement for and what many students do in in looking at these questions sometimes either on cxc or on city and, in city and guilds questions is that they just go ahead and add the numbers that they see rather than I'm noting that some numbers are missing from the diagram. And so here in this question, we have 11, 3. This number is missing. We can find it because we know the, e, the, the total length of this side. And if we know the total length of this side, notice that from this point to this point is 5 units. And because that is true, then the distance from this point to this point has to make up the, total, the remainder of the 11 units. So this part would be... Um, 11 take away 5, this would give us 6. So this piece here is 6. And notice that the measurement for here is not given either. But we are given this this, this distance, which is 4. Uh, so we can put in our 4 for that part. And also that we are given this part as well. So we can put in that part. And notice that that part there is 3 uh, meters. So the entire distance on this side would be four plus three, which would be um, seven meters. And so we can add those numbers to our, our, diag our um, calculations to find the, the perimeter, in which case we get 11 plus three plus six plus four plus five plus seven. And that adds up to give us 36 meters. So it's there because, as I said, um, some students from time to time in looking at a perimeter question, they only add the numbers that they see and not take the time to understand that there are some missing sides that have to be calculated as well. Let's look at another question, which um, the perimeter comes up often, and that is the circumference of a circle. The circumference is another name for the perimeter of a circle. And so from time to time, we are asked to calculate the circumference or we're asked to use that um, circumference in different ways. So the circumference of a circle can be calculated in two ways. I'm not going to go back to, into that. Circumference can be found as 2 pi r or circumference is pi times diameter. And pi can either be estimated as 22 over 7 or um, 3.14 depending on the question. Sometimes the question will tell you what to use. So here we have a question. A rope 21 meters long is used to form a circle. What is the length of the radius? Then we know that um, circumference is 2 pi r. So we can say that um, 2 pi r will give us a circumference. And in this case, the circumference is 21. 
So we can um, do a simple, simple transpose. So the radius here would be equal to 21 divided by 2 pi. And if we use pi as uh, 3.14, then we are going to be doing 21 divided by 2 times 3.14, which is 21 over 6.28. And punching that into our calculators gives us approximately 3.3 centimeters. So we can use the circumference of the circle, um, the formula for the circumference of the circle to calculate circumference, or we can use that formula to find the radius, or we can also use it to find the diameter. Um, here's another question. An iron roller of radius 35 centimeters makes 10 revolutions when rolling the length of a cricket pitch. Um, how far will it, will it have traveled when it has rolled the entire length? Roll the length of the of the cricket pitch 50 times. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to find the distance that the that the um, roller would make in one turn. So the circumference of the roller here just going to use pi as 3.14. The circumference of the roller would be given as 2 pi r. So we can um, do our, our calculation with that to say 2 times 3.14 times 35, and that would give us 70 times 3.14, and that would give us in centimeters uh, 219.8 centimeters. So this is when you roll the, when, when that metal roller would go over one, one time, now the question says it makes 10 revolutions when rolling the length of the pitch. So for the length of the pitch, um, we would have 219.8 and multiply that by 10. And um, that would give us 2198 centimeters. And now the question says, now if, if the person rolling the cricket pitch rolls the pitch 50 times, then how many centimeters would he have gone through? So we'd have to take this answer now, 2198, and further multiply that by 50. And punching that into your calculator, we would get a massive 109,900 um, centimeters. Be aware in these questions that sometimes the exam will often ask you to change your answers to meters or kilometers for, um, for argument's sake. So um, be aware of the metric units and how to convert them, 100 centimeters to a meter. So this would be 2.198 meters, and this would be 21.98 um, meters. And of course, divided by 100 here, this would be 109.9 meters. If you were to convert them, um to two meters 2.198 so be aware of those things um sometimes especially it is it is cxe's thing with um questions where questions are often mixed with other things but before we go into some of those other questions let's look at something else that we often encounter and that is in perimeter, we are often asked to find a part of the circumference, which is the length of an arc. And in finding the length of an arc, there's a formula for that. So we have the angle over 360 times the circumference, and that will give us the, the length of the arc. And in finding the length of the arc, we just simply apply in this case, if we want to find the value of L, then it would be 220 over 360. Um, that's the size of the angle times 2 pi r, um, we can use 3.14 here or 22 over 7 in this case because we have a 7 there, I'm going to use 22 over 7. So it's 2 times pi times radius and that gives us two, 220 over 360 times 44. And once we apply um, this punching in our calculators, we're going to get um, 
approximately 27 centimeters. So the, the circumference here times the angle, um, the part of the angle that is given gives us the, the, the length of the arc. And once we have found the length of the arc, then we can use it to do other things because sometimes the question we often ask us for the perimeter of the sector. Um, so if we have if we have a sector here, then sometimes the question will ask us to find the perimeter of it. So what's the perimeter of this sector? Having gone through the trouble of calculating the length of the arc, the length of the arc here is 27 centimeters then we would have had to find our perimeter by adding a 7 here and a 7 here, in which case with the perimeter of the sector would be 7 plus 7 because of the two radii um, plus over 27 there, and that would be 27 plus 14. Um, adding over 27 and 14 gives us um, uh, 41. Um, in this case, 41 centimeters. So sometimes you may be just asked to find the length of an arc. Sometimes you may be asked to find the perimeter of a sector. The perimeter of a sector is just to add the two radius to um, the length of the arc, and that would suffice for finding the perimeter of a sector. And then sometimes, like I said, these questions often involve other things. So when we're looking at perimeter, especially for CXE, the questions can be simple, and sometimes they can be uh, more complex where they give us diagrams such as these to find, for example, the length of the track. So in this one, we have this section being 100 meters. It's a running track, which means this um, part of the mid, mid is a rectangle here. So this section will also be 100 meters from here to here. But then we have a semicircle at one end and a semicircle at, another, at, at the other end. And if we want to find the perimeter of this, then the idea would be to add up all the sides. So it's to 100 meters on this side, plus the other 100 meter, and plus the semicircle here, and the other semicircle here, calling it S2 and call this one S1. And if you notice that two semicircles would make one full circle, so it's 100 plus 100 gives us 200 plus our plus our, not our semicircle anymore because the two semicircles would make one circle. And the formula for finding circumference, we can either use um, 2 pi r or pi times diameter. We are given a diameter here. The, the diameter of the, of, the, uh, of the circle here is 50 meters. So we can say 200 plus pi times diameter in which case we can use 3.14 times 50. And in applying that 3.14 times 50, multiplying it out, um, this gives us 157 meters. And adding that to 200 gives us um, 357 meters. So be aware of these kind of questions where different ideas, um, different um, things can be put together and you'd have to sort of build up your own formula to do it. The best example I could find of CXE um, um, giving a question in for parameter in which case in which you have a lot of things to work out was this one. Um, so this diagram represents a plot of land. Notice on this side we have a slant side A B. We have a 30, we have 36, and, the, and on the other end we have a semicircle. So in this one they're really really giving you a workout. That is to say, to, to find the perimeter of this. Of course, we know that the perimeter would be the 30 plus the slant. The so slant height plus the 36 and plus the semicircle. And first, we need to work out the, the slant height. So how do we find our slant height? Um, note that this side up here, AE, is 30 meters and BC is um, 36 meters. So if we drop a line here, then what we get is a right angle triangle and that right angle triangle would um, 
have a height of 14 meters and this base of the triangle 36 minus 30 would give us 6 meters and so we can use Pythagoras' theorem um, to find the slant height there by saying um, AB since it is AB um, AB square is equal to 6 square plus 14 square and that would give us punching it into our calculators 232 and so AB would be equal to the square root of 232 and that would give us 15.2 um, approximately when you punch that into your calculator so we have found our slant height and now we need to find the semicircle formula for a circle circumference is equal to pi times diameter we are not using the whole circle here we're using a half of it so we can divide that by two and so here in this um, part of it our diameter is 14 so we have and because it's 14 we can um, we're going to be using the 22 over 7 so it's 22 over 7 times 14 all of that divided by 2 which means that we're multiplying 7 into 14 goes 2 times so we have 44 and 44 divided by 2 gives us 22 meters for that section and so now we have the numbers that we need to find our perimeter so here is 22 and on this side we have 15.2 and so adding up our numbers 30 plus 15.2 plus 36 um, plus 22 gives us a total of 103.2 um, meters and that would be the perimeter of our shape so they can go from as simple as finding the circumference or adding the sides of our um, plane shape to a case where you have to know several different things in order to, to work them out in order to find um, the, the perimeter of your object perimeter as we say is distance around and so when you're working out your perimeter you must ensure that you have all the sides and once you have all the sides you add them um, it may be that you have to use different tools to calculate each side but the idea is to find the length of each side and to add up those numbers to get your perimeter that's all it that's all it is for now in this lesson thank you for watching and continue working hard